Hi guys, welcome to this video and uh, this video is basically on a product that I um, bought from Puppet War. So to go with the Frostgrave um, Seagree, I wanted to have a little um, area or just some basic scatter terrain in the shape of um, walls and fences and that sort of thing. And I was hunting around the internet and I actually found that Puppet War do a really good value um, section of basically graveyard fencing almost. So. I really like the, like the idea of making a section of the table into basically what is a graveyard. So I need to buy or make the um, the mausoleum bits. Um, this is a wall. It's a great alternative to the uh, GW uh, Garden of More walls. So let's have a look. What we've got here is two sections. Um, the kit comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections like this. Uh, three of them are this ruin type, and four of them look like this. Now kit comprises of a couple of bits. You also get these um, these gates here and you get the uh, the doors to go on them as well. Uh, right, uh, they come with the, the walls are basically like this and then you get um, like these sections here uh, which basically slide uh, I can do this. This one's a bit bent, I think. Slide into the wall like that. Of course, I've used the wrong one here because this one's supposed to be uh, damaged, like uh, like this bit here on this wall. Um, but it's a really nice kit. Uh, I was really pleased when it came. There's a lot of detail, like with the destroyed bits here. You can make it so that um, you've got several entryways into it. You could also, I suppose, damage these sections even more and, uh, and make it so that people like so it can be walked through the center there um, but yeah, there's not really much else to say other than I'd like to recommend it to everybody but if you're impatient like I am it actually took two weeks for them to even send these uh, before I got the delivery notice I don't know what happened whether it was a Christmas delay uh, I honestly don't know but Puppets War took an age to send these and I'm used to, I guess I'm used to uh, to to Amazon now I've got the Amazon Prime service so if I if I see something on Amazon that I want it's got the Prime sticker on it I'm gonna press buy because I know I'm gonna get it the next day even if I'm ordering it like 8 o'clock the night before I will get it the next day and to wait two weeks <laughs> is a bit of a sort of old culture shock for me Um I guess I'm a bit spoilt in that respect so, but I mean, the kit itself is awesome. Um, it's just a shame that it that it took so long to arrive. Uh, one of the things I have just noticed is that in my rough handling and storage of these, some of the spikes on the top of the fence have actually been damaged. You can see a couple over here as well. I can see them in the bag. Um, that's a bit of a shame. They are a bit fragile, but though I think because I've been storing them separately to the walls, they haven't had any protection. If you see this here, they get a level of protection from the uh, from being put into the walls so maybe that helps as well so that that was it really just wanted to show these a um, great alternative and really looking forward to getting these painted up and on the table and of course if anyone's got any suggestions of uh, other alternatives that are cheap and um, look great I'm, I'm always happy to, uh, to take a look also if anyone's got any links to sort of graveyards that sort of thing and uh, tombstones and things I uh, would be really looking forward to seeing some of those so I can put them on the table basically I need to also make because my table has the uh, the felt mat I need to make a sort of grassy not grass like soil area rather than cobblestone because I wouldn't think that people would just randomly stick graves under cobblestones and then stick a headstone on top that would look a bit weird right nothing left to say other than thank you very much for watching like the video if you liked it if you weren't happy give me a thumbs down um, as I say, comments are always welcome, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.